How's it going, guys? Today, we're covering chandelles in preparation for the CFI checkride. The objective, students should be able to complete a chandelle, taking into account the changing airspeed and maneuver as prescribed in the ACS and the PTS. And by that, we mean the Airman Certification Standard and the Practical Test Standard. The keys here are uh, remembering that it is a maximum performance maneuver. Uh, the first 90 degrees are constant bank. Uh, changing pitch while the second 90 degrees are constant pinch and changing bank and remembering to stay coordinated the elements maximum performance and performing a chandelle so what is a chandelle a chandelle is a maximum performance maneuver where we start in level flight and we want to make a bank to 180 degrees away and be at the ga gain as much altitude as possible and the, be at the lowest or the minimum controllable airspeed uh, all right, so let's talk about how to perform a chandelle. First of all, selecting your altitude. You want to select an altitude at least 1,500 uh, feet above ground. I always like to do my maneuvering as high as possible so we can have as much time as we need to uh, glide to a safe landing area. So at least 1,500 feet, preferably more. Altitude check. And then uh, we want to do clearing turns as with any maneuver, you know, make a turn to the left, clear the airspace, make a turn to the right, clear the airspace, and then you're all set. And then uh, use your checklist. Your aircraft might have a specific checklist for this maneuver. Uh, and then you want to be at uh, maneuvering speed. Then once you've got your altitude selected, you've cleared your airspace and you've run through your checklist, uh, you're at maneuver speed, you want to note your references. First of all, select something out on the horizon as your you know, starting point. You want to note something 90 degrees away um, right off your wing and then your 180 degree point. And then I like to bug 180 degrees away on my heading bug so I know exactly when to roll out. All right, bam, so we've got our references. Now let's talk about actually performing the turn. Uh, so again, uh, the first half of the turn is at 30 degrees of bank. So roll into a 30 degree bank and pull. You should stay at 30 degrees of bank as you come across and you keep pulling, 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 pulling until you're 90 degrees away from your initial heading. At the 90 degree point, you're going to be starting to uh, roll out of the turn by but maintaining that same pitch angle by pulling, pulling, pulling. I like to use trim uh, to help uh, relieve that aerodynamic uh, pressure. And then uh, you should be at the 180 degree point rolling wings level uh, at the minimum controllable airspeed. You should not be stalled in this position. Uh, you should be, again, lowest or minimum controllable airspeed. So don't be stalling. Some common errors with this maneuver are stalling the aircraft, failure to maintain coordination, improper control inputs, and improper planning. So make sure you have your altitude selected correctly, uh, you run through your checklist, you have maneuver speed, and you're performing the maneuver correctly. And then, of course, you will likely have to do it again to the right. Uh, same thing, everything applies. Uh, so that is, in general, how to do a chandelle. If you have any questions or if I miss anything, please drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching. See ya.